So guys, in today's episode, I'm going to be doing three basic simple houses. Uh, I'll explain a little bit more as we're going along. So there's three areas that I've just been digging out outside. I'll show you which one they are. And they run alongside here. So alongside our main our main base. There's three areas that I've, dug, I've just dug back. You've got one there. And you've got one there. And we have one there as well. And I want these to be used as houses. But I want to be, to be used as specific um something specific so we might have a bakery here so we could have lots of ovens to bake bread which would be great and maybe the one next door to it we can have it as the pit kiln where we do all the pit kiln cooking we'll just make some holes in the ground for like that one as well uh, and maybe for this area we'll do maybe a mini little smelter or something like that but i want to do it to do basic builds and predominantly far for all those people starting in the game so what i've got on me are like basic tools that well basic materials that you would have for the start of the game so i've got pine wood because obviously everything that i've got my main wood theme is pine so i'm using pine wood you could use whatever wood you want so say you basically spawned in an, an oak forest or maybe a birch forest you can use that it's completely fine then I've got some cob, and cob super simple. So if I put in cob, cob is super simple. It's just basically dry grass and any dirt. So you can pick up dirt quite simply, either punching the ground or just basically using whatever shovel that you've already made in the game. So there's doors to it. And then I've got stone paths. And stone paths, yeah, it'll take you a little bit more time to do, but um, I wanted to use stone paths because they're not affected by gravity as well. And neither is cob. So if you if you're playing with all the gravity blocks on, in other words, the soil, the gravel, and the sand, uh, you can use these two together and stuff. And I wanted to have these builds basically as um, super simple worker places. So if we had workers around this area and stuff, this would be somewhere like a medieval place where they would go. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick the largest one, I'll pick the middle one, we'll pick the middle one and this is how I'm going to do it. So I want, I want to put down a floor in. Now I'm going to use the stone plaf as for flooring for this one. I'm going to maybe mix them up. I'm not going to mix in a bit of cob, I'm just going to use stone paths for flooring. And two good things about stone paths, if you're going to be using it inside an area which, which where you're going to be working and you're going to be doing lots of different chores and stuff. Um, you will see in a minute when I've, after after I've just finished filling this one in. Oh, need some more. Need some more. So there we go. We've got stone paths there as well. The beauty of stone paths is that you move a lot faster. So you move a lot faster than stone paths. So if you're doing this and you want to work over here as well, and you're working over there, it's super, super helpful because it's a stone path. Because if it's just normal path, you kind of just basically just saunter along quite smoothly, uh, which is not what we want. The only thing that I put back here is some granite cobblestone. You can choose whatever you want. You can either you know, use the mountain side or if you want to put this house anywhere you want, it is your choice. Right, so uh, I need I need him. <laughs> I need him back. So let me put my torch there, and uh, let me make some a room for Mr. Shiny Lantern. There we go, Mr. Shiny Lantern. You can go over there. I know you really shouldn't basically use your Shiny Lantern while you're playing because it drains your hunger. So first, I want to I want to get rid of you, and I'm going to get rid of you because these are going to be my pillars. So I'm using pine, so one, two, three, four, five to start off with. Yeah, that'll do. I only took a little bit of damage, it's all good. And we want one, oh, one, two, three, four, five. So you. See, this is what you mean by playing with, playing with gravity box. Sometimes it is a bit of a pain. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I'm gonna change most of this surrounding anything with grass i'm going to change just to cob just just to make it look like it's soil um but something we can still use some more pine so we've got uh two there i think three four five is that right 
Uh, so he's there. So one, two. What? One more? One more? Possibly one more? Okay, fine. We'll join these up. So it's a nice simple cube at the moment. Now you can make this as big or as wide as one. I think this area that I've used is a 7x7. Seven seven, but you can choose any size that you want. It is your game. It is your choice. Uh, I want you again. And the ship down. There we go. And the final one there. Now, obviously, the houses, I want to look worn down. I want them to look like they're in use every day and have been in use for many a year. Now, let me get down without hurting myself. So, playing with gravity box sometimes is not a good thing. Now, let me pick you up. And I'm going to have to pick up these ones from inside here. Right, so let me use the cob that I've got. So I've got some cob here. And the cob. Come down here, young man. There we go. Right, so. So this should help stick it all together. Because I want a, I want an actual divide. So I want an actual divide being used. Uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Right, so next, uh, what I'm going to use for the walls, I'm going to use, oh, stop freezing, stop freezing. I'm going to use a little bit of cob, uh, I'm going to use even more um, stone path. Now you can, if you wanted to, you could change this out for wood if you wanted to, just, just normal wood and stuff. So, okay, let's say we want to change it out. You don't want the whole entire floor, because you don't want to be skidding around place. So what we'll do, we'll do... Uh, da, 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 da. So we do a door there, okay? So we do a door there. I do a little pathway going around there. Uh, maybe this way as well. Maybe keep it a little bit funky. Add a bit of colour there. Eh? Add a bit of design to it. So do it once. No, I need you in. There we go. So we've got that as a like a, a, a temporary structure though. So you and you, uh, we'll have the door there. So you and you. Uh, now I want you, maybe a bit of cob there. I'll have a bit of cob there and we'll do you and you. You, uh, that's the door there. Yep. You and you and you. And yes, it will look absolutely dreadful when you first start and you'll be thinking to yourself, oh my God, this is completely not a mess. But bear with us because we can turn anything anything in game to something pretty so there's that to start off with now i've got some rough hewn fences all you need for that is uh i think it is let me double check rough hewn head there we go just a normal axe or any axe uh, some sticks and some logs again so we'll do some rough hewn fences for a dodgy window so we've got a dodgy window there I may want to dodge some dodgy fences outside. There we go. That's just bracing that bit of cob as well. So we've got that now. And it's still looking a bit awful, isn't it? Right, so now we're going to put in the door as well. So we'll put in the door. And we've got a rough hewn door. So we've got a rough hewn door here. Uh, we'll put the door there. Do I want it like that? Mm, maybe not. See, I would like it like there. So I want it indented. Hmm. There we go. And there we go. Oh, close. Right, so how's it looking so far? How dreadful does it look so far? So it's not looking the best, to be honest, does it? It looks a bit dodgy. It looks a bit a bit grimy, a bit dirty. So, okay, let's basically increase this up a little bit. There we go. There we go. And we'll, we'll change out another fence. Put you over there and put you in there. So... Uh, back up. <laughs> I think funny thing, yeah. Okay, we'll, we'll do it that way then. There we go, and uh, maybe there. Right, there's a bit of a patchwork there going now. So, so they, they patched up their house. That's that's what they're saying. They patched up their house. So, do I want some beams? Mm, 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 mm. Do I want some beams? No, but maybe we could make it a little bit more. A little bit more standing out, I think. And I need to. I think we need to remove that piece there. There we 
go. There we go. So that piece has been removed there. Now it's still looking a bit shady. It's still looking a bit dodgy. So how about some more design then? So we're going to continue on with our with our uh, stone 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 pass, and we'll throw in a bit of cob again. So one and you. There we go. We got two there. So we're still not happy with it, are we? Oh, I still I still needs a, a bit more structure to it, I think. So okay. So what other materials have we got inside here? So we've already got that. So we'll, we'll put him with his friend there, and we'll put you back. We've got that one there, and we've got that one there as well. Ooh, what about some clay stone fences there? How about that? I'll put some clay stone fences. How about when we go into the top, a bit of clay stone fences? Let's see how that looks. Basically, a building trial and ever. How about these? And clay stone fences is just pebbles that you found on the ground, so you don't have to dig for them or anything like that. It's Basically, just hmm. Now he's connected to there. That's going to leave a gap. So, do a one that going. Can I kind of put you across? Are you going to behave and still connect? Oh, it is going to still connect. So maybe we can do straight across the top there. So these ones are the easiest to to build. Now they're not going to be warm. I'll tell you that now. So, so, so we've got a bit of structure going on now. So that looks a bit nicer. Ooh, maybe we want to change this over as well. So we want to change that over. Maybe we get a big solid door going. There we go. We'll put a big solid door both sides. Well, you know what's better than a big solid door? How about two? How about two solid doors? There we go. We'll put him in as well. And you there. Okay, we'll try that again. Whatever. <laughs> right, you were closing, but he's closed. Hmm. Do I do a lot of that there? Hmm. I don't mind that there, to be honest. I don't mind that there. So we've got some there. We use our hewn fences again, just to bring it across as well. I'm going to do the same across here. So how's it look now? Oh, now it's starting to look a bit more interesting, doesn't it? Starting to look a bit more interesting. Maybe we have a big window. Maybe we have a big window. See, I love building like this. This is some of my most favourite things. When I'm just literally just there's, there's no particular large plan of me building. I don't really have a a set idea of what I want to do or what I want to achieve or anything like that. Um, and I, and I, I like to build just just to see what I can build right so so I don't like it oh that lagging game it really does annoy me right so we'll get rid of you and we'll get rid of you so now how does it look hmm now we're starting to get a bit more interesting so maybe Hmm. So we've got the rough hewn fences and then move, remove you. So I'll still have you there protecting it. I want to show some of that stone path and the windows. It's looking a bit high, so I'm going to change that out. I'm going to change that out. And I'm going to change that to this one again. So we'll go yoink, yoink. So it's got a bit of framage of the window and basically some of, some of the actual things as well. And I may want to change this out as well. It's, it's too uniform for me. It's too all same. So we'll put uh, you in as well. So uh, yes, I know he doesn't join up. I'm not particularly bothered if it joins up or not. Right, so what does it need now from the outside? Oh, you know something. What it definitely needs. Let me put down some, um, some dirt just to widen out this pathway just a touch. Yeah, some of my most enjoyable times in when I've just been building off the cuff with no set plan or anything like that. So that's looking very, very rough. A lot of people say, wait, it looks ugly, it looks awful and stuff. But you know, uh, horses for courses, some people like super tidy builds and some people like, um, you know, more more of the natural build, I would say. So maybe we put, maybe we get rid of you. 
get rid of you and put a nice bush there to start off with that's nice it's a nice touch to start off with uh, maybe we'll do it around here as well so we'll get rid of you right, so we'll put you there as well there we go it's starting to look a little bit something something maybe some bushes there as well so a few bushes we've got um, a little berry tree but what's the most important thing what always basically helps with a house so I think what always helps with a house is um, a roof <laughs> a roof always helps with a house so whatever roof we're going to go for again we're going to use the materials that we've got at hand and the materials that we've got at hand is basically stone paths and cob okay because both will stick so how do we want to start this how do we want to start this one so I want a bit of a bit of a droopy roof to start off with so you go there and we'll start you all the way down here well, so you start you all the way down here and then we're, we're gonna put you there there we go and we'll do the same side on the other side as well now whatever roof do I want I want a bit of a, a bit a bit of a taller roof a bit of a taller roof I think Would be quite nice so you, oh, come on, you, there we go, good point. I'm going to have to go up now. I'm going to have to go up now, <laughs> if it lets me. Right, okay. Don't worry, I won't be doing it flush. You don't have to worry about that. Um, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And jump, oh. And jump, there we go. Right, so we're gonna do simply. So you're gonna be up, and then I need to crouch back up. So I want to go so up, up to Daisy, uh, crouch, and we'll do you and uh, up one, and then we'll do another one. Come on, up we go, up we go. And again, we're going to do a U. And up on. And then we'll do U. Make sure I don't go too far. And that looks like a run about the center. So down, down, down. And down the other side. And we'll see how it's looking. We'll see how that side's looking. Oh, so a lovely tall roof. And don't worry, these will be coming out with so they'll be will be sticking out a little bit as well. So I'm loving that roof to start off with. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a height, a bit of a nice structure going to it. So how did I start it off? How did I start it off? So it was a so that's fine, that's fine, that's the same. So I need a, a block, stair, block, stair, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 ah. yes, yes. So we should technically be absolutely spot on let's see if I am is that spot on that is spot here. on so it'll come out and then it'll go back and then I'm going to convince and repeat because they're not being funny I can't I can't walk up a stair on camera <laughs> all right guys I'll see you all in a second right guys so I finished off doing the roof Um and putting on a roof on any property will always make a massive difference. So are you ready for the big reveal? I'm going to F4 so I can get rid of my little hot bar. And then I'll let you decide in the comments what you think. Now remember, this build is done without having a pickaxe. Literally, this one is just a wood axe. Chopping down trees, getting twigs. Picking up soil with a, with a shovel. And it's, it's as simple as that. So I'm not using any other resources. So you, this is a non-pickaxe build. So let me let me let me think what you think of it. So there we go. So what do we think? Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you think it looks too rough? Do you think it's not usable? You don't think it's a usable house? I love it. I really, really do love it. For one of my most rustic builds, and I love rustic builds, um, I think that looks pretty uh, pretty spot on. The roof makes it all. The little indents as well of the little um, the hewn, rough hewn fences 
And I've even got an upstairs as well, so you can I'm pick up pick a few stones up. So you can Yeah. Might have to work on the door. Um so you basically I can use this as the bakery if I wanted to, so I could put my my ovens inside here and basically have some logs so it's always able to cook and stuff. And if it can be for a specific specific location for a bakery, and then if I'm baking too late at night, I can pop upstairs and I can have a kip as well. How good is that? Now I can't see out the windows because I don't have any windows. Remember, these are all rough hewn 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 hewn. These are rough hewn. Rough hewn fences. That's a hard word. Let's have a look at it from this point of view as well. See if it looks better or worse. I I like the build. I really I'm really impressed with the build. Um I look I love the that looks lovely. Imagine a few of those, you know, another one next to it, maybe a little bit smaller, another one down here, maybe a different thingy. Maybe we could do a few more around the side as well. That's gonna because you have to bear in mind the nobleman who would own this castle, the king, the lordship, who would own this castle. The workers that he would have, they would be close to the castle, but their houses would not be made out of fancy stone. They would be made out of the most basics of resources. And I think that is that is really nice. This I like this so much, this basic style and stuff. I am tempted to change my first build over. Change the roof over. I'm really tempted to change the roof over. But anyway guys <laughs> Let me uh let me basically uh put my there we there we there we go there we go there we go should, should I do a uh, screeny screeny for mom screeny for mom there we go guys hope you enjoyed today's episode again it's a little bit of a different one from the last one hope you enjoyed it um do all the great stuff like comment subscribe all that jazzy jazz jazz and i'll see you in the next episode all right guys bye bye for now